doing out there time for another tutorial from pinnacle studio pro today we're doing a tutorial and review of new blue effects video essentials 5 let's get into it now video essential 5 lets you create some fantastic effects for your videos what it does it helps you save a lot of time creating some effects some of these effects can be used or made with a pinnacle studio 16 on its own but Video Essentials 5 gives you a huge time savings in creating the composites that can be done with this software plugin. This is a basic tutorial, so I'm just going to show you some of the presets and a few changes here and there. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about the effects that I did not show you during the demo. Let's jump into the background generator. So I'm going to right click on this clip that I got here and I'm going to go to Open Effects Editor. I'm going to go to add-ons. I'm going to go to new blue background generator. I'll click on the background. And now I'm going to make a few changes to this. Now, first and foremost, what the background generator does is it creates cool backgrounds by changing up and painting your video. It looks really freaking awesome. You can create some stunning backgrounds with this. If I go to image and I change the magnify, bring it down a little bit. No, as a matter of fact, let's without bring the blur down here. Bring the brightness down a little bit. And if you play this, you'll see a nice smooth little pan going across this bad boy. It's a great little background. It creates a great background for you to use on any of your videos. And you can, you know, keep a specific theme with your video that you're doing. It's pretty freaking awesome. Now, you got a lot of different options here to play with. I'm not going to go through all of them. You also got some presets on here. You got a uh, cascading down. You got chill. Getting chill mode, baby. Got a whole bunch of different ones on here. So check out the presets or you can go ahead and make your own adjustments and create your own different type of background. All right. If you don't like it, so what? I'm moving on. Next, I'm going to show you some stuff with old TV. So I'm going to right click on this clip. Go to open effects editor. Add ons and OTV. Now, if you miss watching the TV on your grandpa's gigantic box that used to sit on the floor, you're in luck. Because this can help you do that again. 
Reminiscing about them good old days, baby. Reminiscing about them good old days. Now, old TV creates several different old school looks that you can use for your videos. So, you got a bunch of presets on here. So, I'm going to go through a few of those. You got uh, Grandpa's TV. Watch it on Grandpa's TV. Now. You got a little bit of vertical hold issue with Grandpa. Uh, you got console TV. Whole bunch of other different presets on here. Call the repair man. Good lord, that TV is jacked up. And then, of course, you can go ahead and use the settings to go ahead and make your own adjustments. Some extra skin lines on here, give some extra intensity. And this is great for like creating those, like, you know. Uh, I guess some of those like broadcast message message alerts or whatever. It's pretty cool for creating something like that. You know, if you can create the little picture or grab the picture from somewhere, you can say this is an alert from the emergency broadcast system. We is all gonna die. All right, I'm done with that. So next, I want to show you outline. So for outline, of course. For this one, you need to have a, a green screen or a chroma key applied to some footage first in order for it to you know, look right. Or you can use it for text. Uh, you can use it for, you know, I guess pictures that have that are transparent, you know, uh, outline, stuff like that. So I'm going to right click on this chroma key clip here. Go to Open Effects Editor. And I'm going to go to add-ons. And I'm going to go to outline. Now, if you want to add some extra flair, some flair to your text, or you want to make your chroma key talent, you know, look like they have the glow like Bruce Leroy. Any of you stanky young bucks who don't know who Bruce Leroy is, you need to look it up, okay? Kung Fu Flick, baby. The default already put a nice little outline on me. Go ahead and change the width down. You know, oh Lord, look at me, I look so beautiful. I'm going to heaven, y'all. I'm going to heaven. I'm going to heaven. Okay, anyway. So you can see he's got a lot of great little, you know, adjustments on there. Then you got some presets if you want to use. That's the red glow. You got your uh, Halloween boy there. You know, a lot of great little things you can use. And like I said, oh, it's a bad chroma key. You are a bad chroma key. Bad. And so anyway, you can utilize these, these tools and these adjustments here to go ahead and create some great looking things with the outline effect. So I guess I'll leave, uh, I'm going to leave the default on there because I like to look like I'm, I'm an angel. I'm going up there with Jesus, y'all. Going up there with Jesus. All right, so next is the alpha processor. So if you want to be the real alpha dog, you got to use the alpha processor. Now, this is going to really jazz up your video, give you some jazz hands, people. Jazz hands. What it does, it takes the alpha channel, your video, it can invert it, blur it, do several other things to it. So I'm going to right click on this clip of the chroma key. Go to open effects editor. And I'm going to go to add-ons. I'm going to go to alpha processor. As you can already see, we went ahead and applied the alpha channel on there. It's the default. So I'm going to go show you some of these little things. You got black halo. You got clean chroma key. Kind of bring that back out. Trying to get rid of some of that halo stuff on now. You got cutout. Overlapping cutout. You got a whole bunch of nice little things on here. So, of course, you got no preset and you can easily make your own adjustments to it as you wish. You can invert it. You can put the mask on there and pre-multiply it. 
all that beautiful stuff. Great effect to quickly, you know, do some changes to the alpha channel on your video clips, baby. So we're going to do a, yeah, so just leave the default on that one. All right. Next, we got progressive scratch. Progressive stretch. Stretch it out, ladies. Stretch it. Stretch it. Stretch it. Stretch it. All right. So, I'm going to right-click on this clip here. Go to Open Effects Editor. Add-ons. And we're going to go down to Progressive Stretch. And as you can see, it does something pretty damn beautiful. I'm going to show you something real quick. What this does is it takes your 4 by 3 ratio video clips and stretches it to a 16 by 9 ratio. Awesome. Makes them straight up. Look like, you know, those 1080p videos easily. No worrying about, you know, going in and stretching here and stretching there and, you know, sizing stuff up and losing parts of your clip. This does it for you. So it's really a cool trick to use or a, clue, a cool tool to use. And also, you can use it with any type of video. You can stretch whatever video you want. Like you saw the demo, I just stretched out a video that was already, um, you know, uh, 16 by 9. But what I did is I had it in a PIP and stretched that out so it made it look a little different. Made it, you know, a little um, skewed. And I like the look that it gave it. So anyway, if I turn this off, you see, boom, black bars show up. Boy, I'll tell you what. Don't nobody like them stanking black bars. No, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Everybody loves these black bars so much. Not. So, you know, when I go ahead and turn it back on you can see that it stretched them out pretty easily and it's got some other effects on here you got blurred edges partial crop uniform stretch it's all gravy I'm gonna go back to the default and of course you can go ahead and change the stretch and the crop and all of that stuff on there um let's see so it's pretty dang cool I love it freaking love it all right, next we got Selective Focus. Now, I'm going to right-click on this clip. Go to Open Effects Editor. I'm going to go to Add-ons, and I'm going to go to Selective Focus. Now, this is one of my favorite effects on Video Essentials 5. It blurs the image outside of a pre-selected area. It's super good at creating shallow depth of field, highlighting specific areas of the video clip, all that jazz. So as you can see, it's already a blur being applied. Let me go ahead and turn off the effect. See, turn it back on. Blur is applied. I can go ahead and do uh, depth of field. Change that up. That's pretty cool. Uh, peephole. You know, this is a good one to use for like you know if you're doing like um, pretend to be looking through a site or something like that. It's pretty cool for that. Uh, centered oval. All kind of great little presets. And, of course, I can change all the elements of my shape if I wish to do so. Change the x-axis, y-axis, all that stuff to create my own focus on the part of the video that I want it to be on. So, pretty damn cool if I should say so myself. And then the next one we got is a viewfinder. So I'm going to right click on this video. Go to Open Effects Editor. Add ons. And we're going to go down to the viewfinder. I just got some great, you know, looks of different cameras and stuff like that. So it's a lot of great defaults on here. You got 1970s. Old school, baby. Fred Astaire right there. Get your dance on, Fred. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, that's enough of that, Fred. All right, so now we got like 1990s. A little bit of messed up video camera there. We got a cheap camera. You is cheap. I am moving along. Night vision. Everybody likes those night vision, you know, type deals on this stuff. You can go ahead and make your video look like it's a night vision, you know. Of course, you can go ahead and change the 
tint of it or whatever you think is too bright. Like that light vision, that look too bright light vision. Bring the resolution up some if you want to. All that good stuff. You can bring the counter back on if you want. Eh, leave it off. So anyway, I'm going to leave this one here. I'm going to click OK. So now let's talk about the three effects that I didn't show you on the demo. We got Selective Color, Selective Tint, and Color Fixer Pro. Now, unfortunately, those effects for Video Essentials 5 do not work in Avid Studio and Pinnacle Studio 16. I know that because I searched the Pinnacle Studio forum where you can get a lot of great information on technical errors and things like that, and I found the following information. I found a post that started by Tony P. Tony P is the man on the Pinnacle Studio forums, answered a lot of questions, helps a lot of people out. And as you can see here, it says that he downloaded the trial version. It installs to Avid Studio and Pinnacle Studio 15. And the, several of the effects don't work in Avid Studio, but work fine in Pinnacle Studio. So Tony mentions that Selective Color and Color Fixer Pro are two that don't work in Avid Studio. Uh, he didn't mention that Selective Tint doesn't work, but I can confirm that that does not work either. And then we have another confirmation from Sabi who says, he just tried it, and those effects don't work with his Avid Studio. And they keep talking about Avid Studio. Well, Avid Studio is Avid, is, uh, I'm sorry, Pinnacle Studio 16 is actually Avid Studio 2.0. It's built on the same platform. So it doesn't work on Avid Studio. It's probably not going to work on Pinnacle Studio 16. And it doesn't work on my Pinnacle Studio 16. And then I have the last post from Tony P, where he's been in contact with the uh, New Blue Effects customer support. And the reply from support was, I have discovered that this is a known issue. The developers have this information. Only problem is this post is from August of 2012. It is now uh, November of 2012. And either uh, the people at New Blue Effects um, are working on this and they're going to fix it soon. Or um, maybe they're just not going to fix it. I cross my fingers and hope to God that they fix this so that it will work in Pinnacle Studio 16. Because... If it doesn't, what you have to do to use those three effects are use Pinnacle Studio 15 or 14. The reason why I say that is because I can confirm that it works in Pinnacle Studio 14. And Tony and Sabi, can, or Tony at least, confirmed that it worked in Pinnacle Studio 15. So I'm going to show you what it looks like in Pinnacle Studio 14. I'm here in Pinnacle Studio 14 Ultimate Collection. And... I'm going to right click on this clip that I got in the timeline and I'm going to go to open effects toolbox. I'm going to scroll down to new blue video essentials. And first thing I'm going to go to is a uh, selective color. And click OK. And you can see everything's already grayed out. It's like, OK, automatically, you know, grayed out everything on the video. And if I go to just red. You see the tie stands out, got a little bit of, you know, the flesh tones in there, but mostly everything else is grayed out. So you got that Pleasantville effect straight out the box. If I go to just blue, you see the buildings and everything, her shirt, everything else is grayed out. Well, I want to go ahead and select the color I want. So let me see if I make it like, uh, let's see. All right, so I make it like the red of his tie. And let's say I turn my strength up. Turn my range up a little bit and you see easily we got red tie. And then I can bring it down there. I like that. Took all the flesh tones out. A little bit of flesh tone on there, and if I want to fix that, I can just do show mask, and then I can soften that up to the, where those flesh tones go away, and I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the mask off now. Now it's just a tie. Everything look so lovely. So there you go. That's the uh, selective color. Pretty cool. Wish it was in Pinnacle Studio 16. So I'm going to take this out. I'm going to remove that effect. And I'm going to add a new one. This time we're going to do selective tint. I'm going to click OK. 
You see a lot of different little presets on here you could use. Pretty cool way to make a negative. This would be cool, like if you do like a atomic bomb explosion or something, and then make everything just flash, bam, bam, blow up the whole world or something. You know, it is coming up on December. You know, end of the world, Mayan calendar, all that jazz. You got your center spotlight. It's a whole bunch of cool stuff on here. And, and I really wish it would work in Pinnacle Studio 16. But right now it doesn't. So I got a deal. So I'm going to delete this. And the last one is we got the uh, Color Fixer Pro. So you got some pretty cool little presets on here. You can use. And then, of course, if you need to, you can do your own adjustments. On here to kind of bring some pop and flair out onto your videos. I like that, so I'm going to leave it like it is. And that's it. All right, guys. It's a wrap. That's it. We're done here. Basic tutorial on new blue effects video essentials five Now If you like the content of this video you like what I'm showing you you love what's going on with video essentials five You like new blue effects you like me you just want to hear my voice more I don't know you want to see more tutorials whatever Hit the thumb that's pointed in the upward direction Let people know that you like the content of this video let them know that you want to see more stuff like this. Leave me your comments. You know I'm always going to get back with you. If I can't answer your question, I'll point you in the right direction and get you the freaking help you deserve. And last, but definitely not least. You know it's coming. It comes every time, baby. You know it's coming every time. Don't you Ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.